Hey everyone. Welcome back to Nightlife in Thailand. Today, we're talking about one of the most famous scams that happen in Thailand frequently to tourists, especially to newer male tourists visiting the nightlife scene in Thailand, which you need to be aware of, in order to avoid falling into this dangerous trap. Be sure to stick till the end as I'll be sharing how my close friend fell for this trap even after knowing his girlfriend for 10 years. So, grab a beer, sit back, relax and enjoy the scenes along Pattaya Soy 6 while we explain to you how this scam usually happens. Thailand has a thriving adult entertainment industry that draws tourists from all over the world. Bars, brothels, and massage parlors are commonly found in seedy areas such as Pattaya, Patong, and Patpong. While there have been many documentaries that portray the women who work in these establishments as victims, there has been very little coverage of some of their clients being scammed and falling for one of the oldest tricks in the book. The scam is straightforward, and its success, like the majority of other scams, is dependent on the victim's gullibility. This scam can affect both men and women, but because male tourists outnumber female tourists in Thailand's adult entertainment industry, I'll explain the details from the perspective of a male victim. It all begins when a foreign or wealthy man enters a bar. He takes a seat and meets a woman working at the bar. They have a good time talking and drinking. The next thing he knows, they're on their way back to his room or somewhere outside the bar. The woman may even want to go to the movies or to a restaurant, which appears to be a typical date. But what the man doesn't realize is that it's all part of this woman's hidden plans. What happens immediately after they leave the bar is unimportant. They may end up sleeping in the same bed, or the woman may choose to return home and make future plans with the man, such as a movie date or a bite to eat. It all appears to be very innocent and no different from any other normal relationship. In many cases, it is, and the woman may have the best of intentions for the man. However, it is not always innocent, and once the man begins to trust the woman and fall head over heels for her, her plan takes effect. Men who visit such countries are usually not very wealthy, but they are still somewhat wealthy by Thai standards. As a result, the men will often have to return to their home countries after their visit, at least for a short time, in order to save up enough money to return again. They might not have enough money to bring another person back with them, or visas for that person might be difficult to obtain. So, even though the man has fallen in love with this new woman, he may have to leave her in Thailand until he returns. This could take several months, or even a year or two. During this time, the woman will most likely have to return to the bar or brothel where she worked in order to support herself. When a man believes he has found a new girlfriend, he is usually disappointed to learn that his new soulmate will have to return to that line of work, especially when he imagines her with other men. So, he'll start sending her money every month so she doesn't have to do it anymore, and she'll tell him she's given up that life. In many cases, the girl is telling the truth and has actually left that type of life. However, many of them are not telling the truth and are deceiving their foreign lovers. They aren't stupid, and they don't all work in bars and brothels to meet future husbands. Many people prefer to work in such places because they are all about business and making good money. So, while this poor guy is sending money to his supposed girlfriend every month, she's constantly meeting other guys and duping them into doing the same thing. Before you know it, she has multiple foreign boyfriends who are all sending her money, each thinking she's left that life and is staying away from those types of places. I guess the only moral of the story is to more careful when you are visiting such places as you can catch feelings very easily after some interaction with these women. If you come across such women, you should be extremely cautious and avoid putting all of your feelings and trust in them. While many of them are innocent, sweet, and genuine, there are many more out there who are cunning business women who use their youth and beauty to work their hustle and scam gullible people. I've heard and seen it happen too many times, including one of my close friends, Charles, who traveled to Thailand and dated a Thai lady for almost 10 years, only to be duped after trusting her and giving her money to invest in property and other things. Worst of all, she secretly had a younger Thai boyfriend while she was dating Charles and she was giving her Thai boyfriend a monthly allowance from the monthly allowance she was receiving from Charles. 
He lost almost everything because he trusted her fully. Fortunately, his family back home helped him get back on his feet, and eventually returned to his home country to rebuild his life from scratch. There are quite a number of homeless foreigners in Thailand who has lost everything due to scams and were not able to get their lives back. If you're an older man looking for a girlfriend or wife half your age, you must be realistic and careful. The chances of a woman in her 20s being attracted to and falling in love with a man in his 50s or 60s are slim. While appearances are a superficial basis for a relationship, and age is just a number, you should still be honest with yourself about how people are and how the world works. It's always better to be safe than sorry. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more great content on the best nightlife destinations in Thailand. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.